Welcome to the introduction to Flex Data Binding Tutorial. My goal today is to showcase one of Flex's most powerful features called Data Binding. Data Binding in Flex is the process of tying the data of one object to that of another object. And this allows data to be conveniently passed around within an application. I'll be showing you just how easy it is to bind values through the simple Flex example that I have here for us. Um, so why don't we just go ahead and get started. Um, by creating a flex project here and I'm going to name my flex project just uh, flex binding you can name whatever you'd like to name it and I'm going to do next here um, output here is fine go to the next folder uh, we don't have to worry about the library path of the source we'll just go ahead and do finish and once this loads here will be set up with an application with the MXML. So um, the first step I'd like to do is just go ahead and set the width and the height of this application. Alright, so we got that in place here. So this is going to be our application, basically the wrapper. Um, inside, just for the example, I'm going to create a panel just something that will be real nice that will uh, contain all the input fields and the uh, components that we have in place. I'm just going to go ahead and add some of the attributes to it. Just make it big enough to fit inside of here and horizontally center it and vertically center it as well. And while we're at it, might as well just give it a, a title we'll called Flex Data Binding example. So now that we have that in place, um, we can just take a look real quick here at the design mode and we'll see that our panel is floated in the middle and we're ready to go and start our example. Um, so inside the panel I'm going to be adding a, uh, a horizontal slider and another component below it. So the best approach for me, I like to just uh, make a vertical box, which is a V-box. This allows us to um, stack components on top of each other in a pretty well organized manner. So inside the VBox here, again, just set it up. We'll add some padding to the top and padding to the bottom as well. And we'll add the separation between each of these components to something real simple to do here. and we'll center everything within the V-Box. So like I said, the first thing I wanted to um, add is a horizontal slider. And these are just components that I'm going to be adding that will um, let us represent data binding in a, in a pretty cool way here. Um, just a simple you know, ID. We'll give it just H slider, something like that. Make it a little wide. Set it minimum value negative 100 and its max value we'll set it to 100 just so it's a nice range here and another important thing we're going to set the live dragging to true this allows us to uh, rather than letting go of the mouse and having the changes take effect um, this allows us to as the mouse moves data can be um, changed on that slider so we'll set that to true and the initial value of the slider let's see here is going to be zero. So that's good. We got these the slider here ready and in place. Let's fix that so it's on one line. So again we'll just take another look in design mode and we'll see that our slider is you know it spans across the whole V box and panel itself and it's ready to go. And we're gonna add another little component to help our example here. And this is going to be just um, a simple text input. And this is, we'll just call this guy text input one. And we'll just give it a width of 40, uh, 45. Let's try that. So there's our text box in place. And I think a uh, 
an easier way to do this, we'll, we'll put like a, a label next to it just so we know what that text box actually is doing. So I'll just do a text component and the text on the actual component we'll put just like bound slider value so we know what that text box next to it is actually doing. Um, it's a simple style thing right there and we'll, we'll bold it as well just so it looks nice there. Um, and since we want these two to be on the same line, I'm going to wrap them in a, a horizontal box, which is the opposite of the vertical box. So these components will be next to each other in a very organized manner, and they will not overlap. They'll, they'll go in place. So these two are here. And now let's take another quick look, and we'll see that our text box is here in our other text boxes next to it so this is nice and convenient here so if we were to go ahead and run this you know we'll see it would be pretty simple so we have just a slider here that goes from negative 100 to 100 and that's pretty good and so this is pretty basic and right now has nothing to do with data binding we just get our components in place for our example um, so this is a text input Right now, you can type whatever you want. It doesn't really matter because we're not using it effectively right now. And here's our, our label next to it just telling us what this text box is doing.